So I've been noticing a similar question pop up on my YouTube channel. People often ask how to create historical maps inside of After Effects using GeoLayers, the premium plugin. So today that's what I'm gonna talk about because there is a tutorial already out there that exists from the actual creator of GeoLayers that shows you how to do this, but it's kind of buried in another tutorial that shows you how to do a bunch of other things. So I figured today I'm gonna to create a standalone tutorial on this topic and there are actually a lot of ways to do this, but this way, um, I'm basically going to be connecting a repository of historical data that you can pull directly from GeoLayers, which is a really cool method. Uh, so I'm going to break this down step by step. As always, if you enjoy this tutorial and you want to see more content like this, go check out my Patreon page at the link in the video description. Speaking of Patreon, big shout out to my tier three patrons, Joseph Culligan, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at FlumiPlus1, Samir Mahdi, and Tyson the Keymaster. Thanks again, folks, for making this video possible. Okay, so there's a repository of historical base maps over here on github.com created by this guy named Andre. Huh. You can see his bio down here, PhD in geography. And right over here it says collection of georeference boundaries of world countries and cultural regions for use in mapping historical data on the world scale. So I'm gonna click on this and all the data is here. Now what I'm gonna be doing is basically connecting this to GeoLayers so that when you search GeoLayers, you'll be able to access this repository and pull this data directly from the site here. And I'm gonna share the link down in the video description so you can go see it. And if you scroll down here, you can read all of uh, the specifics of like the sources of how this was created, where he's pulling the data from, how often he updates it. So I'm gonna go over here to After Effects. I'm gonna go to Window Extensions, GeoLayers 3. If you don't already have GeoLayers 3, check out my affiliate link down in the video description. Now to connect this repository to GeoLayers, I need to go over here and just copy the URL and then go to the panel menu and open up the preferences here. And here, there's just a ton of different options that you can tweak here, but I'm gonna scroll down to the feature search section. This says this can include multiple sources. Each source can be used for the search by name, coordinate, or both. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and hit this plus key, and then under the category type, I can actually select GitHub repo. And then I'm gonna paste the URL right here. And now for some technical weird reason, I have to type in the word master. Can I explain why that is? No, I cannot explain why that is. And I'm gonna actually bump up the results here to 10 so that it'll show these results. And I'm gonna hit apply. Now, it's connected. But if we go back over here to the repo, you click on the GeoJSON. This is what we're gonna be pulling from here, all these files here. So a quick tip, is the to find these we're going to need to do keyword searches so all i really need to do is search by keyword geojson and it's going to pop up a bunch of these if i want to search by year i can just come here and reference the year so let's say we want to look up um ooh, 1492 haha -ha, columbus sailed the ocean blue so we have 1960 we can go look at 1960 let me show you how we can do this so under search i can just type in 1960 and then if I scroll all the way down here, it tells you GitHub and it shows you the repository here. And if I click on this, it's gonna download all of the border information for 1960. If you open this up, you can see, let me just actually move this. So when I scale in on the map comp preview here, you're still gonna see like current day preview here because I can see the Ukraine, I can see Estonia and Latvia. But actually during 1960, we know that that was the time of the Soviet Union. So if you scroll down here, you can see all of these different, um, let me see where, I can actually filter this out. So let me see if it's USSR. And then sure enough, here it is right here, 1960 USSR. So if I click on this, now check it out. We can see the boundaries of what it is right here. And now I'm gonna be able to draw this. So let's go ahead and create a map comp. Next, I'll just go ahead and pick the Bing Aerial Satellite map here. And now I'll just grab like a solid white layer style. And then I'll grab the USSR. And let's go ahead and draw this feature out. And now voila, I have this country border. Now some of these shapes are not perfect. Like the edges are like a little rough, but I mean, that's pretty amazing. Now let's go back and let's look up the year 1000. So I'm just gonna type in 1000, scroll down here, and you can see it even goes back to BC 10,000, wow. I'm gonna grab 1,000, we're gonna download that. Now if I search the Roman Empire, 
Right here, you can see Holy Roman Empire in the year 1000. If I double click here, it's gonna take us straight to it. And I get the preview of it here. So let's go see um, Holy Roman Empire 1000 map because I have no idea what the Holy Roman Empire looked in the year 1000. But uh, that looks pretty close, halfway down Italy, all the way up here to Denmark. Now let's go ahead and draw this out. And there you go, Holy Roman Empire of the year 1000. And now obviously with this information, you can style it to your heart's content. So there you have it, that's how you can pull this historical data. And the beauty of this is that if you have any problems, like if anybody's talking about the accuracy or any problems with that, you can just blame it on Andre and say it's his fault. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do. And then you could say, oh, I thought Andre specialized in cartography, but if you look at his bio here, it's actually cartography. That's the problem. And now to finish the design of this map, I'm gonna go grab this banner of the Holy Roman Empire here. And you can see down here, it says it's 15th century, so we're a little off with the timing here, but this is another thing I can blame on Andre, and we'll be fine. And I'll just expand this yellow here. And now I'm gonna add a set matte effect. And we'll use the Holy Roman Empire as a mask here. And I'm going to connect it to the map comp anchor, make it 3D. And now I can bring this more center here. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it answered uh, your questions and will get you going in the right direction to create your specific historical maps. Again, there are other methods and techniques to find this data, but this is a really cool, um, really cool resource that makes it kind of like a seamless workflow inside of Adobe After Effects. So let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you create something using this data, I'd love to see it. And again, to see more map content like this, be sure to check out my Monday Maps playlist, as well as uh, if you're really into the map content, go check out my Patreon page, link in the video description.